two-thirds of the earth is water. But only 3% of it is fresh water. Rest of the water is in the oceans and seas, which is too salty to be used for drinking, farming or any other purpose. Water helps our earth from becoming too hot or too cold. Two-third of our body is also made up of water. All fruits also contain water. Water pollution All of us need water. As our population grows, we need more water. But we need pure and clean water. Today's problems are shortage of water and water pollution. Water gets polluted when we throw garbage into the rivers, immerse idols into lakes and ponds, wash clothes or bathe in the rivers, dump waste from factories, etc. We suffer from typhoid, jaundice, hepatitis, and gastroenteritis when we drink this polluted water. Scientists are discovering that even rainwater is getting polluted. The fumes and smoke from factories and the exhaust fumes of motor vehicles go up into the sky. mix with the clouds and fall down with the rain. This is called acid rain. Water purification. Drinking water should be very pure. Water should be purified before we drink it. Boiling Filtering Using a water filter or water purifier, etc. are some of the methods of purifying water. Boiling is the best way to purify water. We must boil it for 15 to 20 minutes at least. Conservation of water There is very little fresh water available on earth. But we carelessly waste water. Water is precious. It should not be wasted. Let us do an activity. Take a small bucket, place it below a tap. Open the tap such that only drops of water flow from it. After one hour, collect this water and pour it into an empty soft drink or fruit juice bottle. Measure just how much water there is. Then calculate how much water could have flowed from this dripping tap in 24 hours. You shall be amazed how much water is wasted from keeping one single leaking tap. Ways to conserve water. Using a bucket and a mug to have a bath. Avoid using showers. Never keep the tap open while you are brushing your teeth. 
If you have potted plants, you can water them every alternate day. Plants need enough water, but not too much water. Rainwater harvesting In several parts of India, housing societies have started using a method called rainwater harvesting. The rain falling on the roof is channeled into underground storage tanks and is stored for use later. As nature recycles water for us, we can try to lend a helping hand to nature by recycling water.